during one of our group retreats, you got some of us involved in a process called Invented Games, which was really fun. And I thought it might come in with the tinkering because it was a really different kind of tinkering, but also very interesting. I, l I love this stuff. I did it a lot uh, with one of my best friends as, as a kid. We would make up our own board games. And so what I did on this retreat was um, gathered up a whole bunch of just guts, bits and pieces of board games and also things like bouncy balls. And it's actually really useful to have like post-it notes and stuff to write with. Uh, and then just spread it out on the table and then uh, try to come up with a new board game. And a critical thing about this is that you don't write down a list of rules and then play the game. Uh, often what happens is someone will propose a crazy idea for a game like, okay, let's make um, something about like stacking these blocks, but you have to spell a word. And then someone's like, well, maybe instead of just, you know, we could take out the part about the words, but it's about stacking, but you have to do some crazy thing while you're stacking it. Like the, the rule is you can only use your, your pinky fingers. And in one of these sessions, actually, it's a different one uh, at an event here at the lab called the Festival of Learning. We came up with a game where we would write these rules down on the post-its. Like here's one that says, eyes closed. So you have to like put a block um, <laughs> on the stack <laughs> with your eyes shut without, um, yes, without knocking it over. And uh, so there's a couple more I just wrote down. Pinkies only, you saw that. Uh, put a block on the stack while singing. And the crucial thing is you could always s skip your turn if you didn't want to you know, sing and put a block on the stack. But if you did that, you had to write a new rule. So in that case, it was a game that grew itself. I think what I like about it is that there's a lot of people who play games, but this is playing with games. It's sort of playing with the idea of games. So sort of playing at a meta level. Absolutely, yeah. Playing with the rules, making your own rules. And, and I think there's this really important idea of the rapid iteration. So quickly trying out uh, different rules, uh, adding to or modifying the rules, uh, and in that way, sort of finding some new unexpected space of possibilities. And mixing together, like you said, well, what if we cross poker and boggle and cards, and how would we do that? And so we can start coming up with things and start burying it and One laughing my, a lot. <laughs> yes, it, it can be very silly. One of my favorite ones um, was we had for, from some game, I'm not even sure what this was from, but it was a stack of cards with pictures of things that go in sandwiches. We had those, and we had some boggle dice with letters on them, right? And the way the game worked you would um, pull out uh, one of the cards with a picture of a sandwich ingredient, like lettuce or onions, and then you would roll, uh, say, three of the boggle dice. And so you'd get three letters, and then the game was the, the person wins uh, who is the first to come up with a phrase where each word starts with one of those letters and describes the picture on the card. And so one of my favorite ones was um, we had the letters uh, E, O, and M, and the card had a picture of some onions. And someone said, oh, my eyes. And I, that was clearly the winner in that case. Um, <laughs> but that, that game only evolved after a bunch of different iterations of possible rules. How do you think this uh, activity of invented games relates to the work you do when you're inventing new te technological tools? It's a really um, interesting question. I think they do relate closely. One way is that I'm often tinkering with systems. So I'll be using uh, Scratch or another programming environment like Processing or Open Frameworks. These are the tools that I use to make things. And so I'm playing around within that system. But I might get some idea that requires breaking the boundaries of that system. Mm -hmm. And so it might mean, oh, I just have to switch to a different tool or uh, approach the project from a different direction. And so it's, I think it's really important to be able to step into and out of systems like that. So playing within the rules and then making new rules. Cool. <laughs>